is this for? It's been a wonderful Christmas. I had a great time. And now it is New Year's Eve and I want to put that good time to everybody else. So I'm going to be making some more drum and bass. Ultimately where we end up is here. And we'll just be going through the various stages as to how I got to that point. As usual, we are just gonna be starting with a blank template. You guys seem to really enjoy these videos, so it makes sense to give the people what they want if I wanna become the greatest thing that YouTube has ever seen. I've already found chord progression that I wanna start this off with, which is in F sharp minor. It's a bit moody, but the chords are very nice. This is what it sounds like. So we're gonna go ahead and convert the harmony to a new track. And then from there, we're gonna use this as a chord structure. We're probably gonna use this loop as well, just because that is a really, really nice sound in piano. So what we have now is this. I mean, that just sounds horrendous. I've actually found some really good stuff in these packs, like Grand Piano, for example, sounds, Grand Piano Hybrid, what's this? I'd really recommend going into packs and that just downloading loads. I mean, if you go to Ableton packs, yeah, so here we go. So we got loads and loads of packs here. Now, some of them you do need to buy, but I'm not gonna lie, the free ones that I've been using um, have been really fantastic, actually. Since guitar licks, do you know what I mean? Breaks, might even just download that one now, to be fair. There's really nice like drum kits in here. So just download them and use them. They're really good. Vibrations, let's see what this sounds like. I like that. What drums have we got? Oh my God, this is so good. Oh my Lord, that sounds so nice. Right, so let's try and not get carried away. Let's start with one thing at once. Right, what have we got? Uh, maybe add, make these sound a bit more interesting. It is exactly that chord progression. Right, let's see what this sounds like if we had it up. So that's probably where we're gonna go with this. That's just got like, just a nice shuffle to it. So I'm gonna take it. It's sounding a bit messy, I know. Right, let's just see how this sounds on its own. Uh, and then let's group all these together. Right, let's make a quick bass as well. What I want is uh, like a Net Sky style bass. Go, cool, that'll do. Right, I'm gonna cut this um this break up a little bit because it is I think it's a bit it's a bit much for what we actually need. Like these double kicks, for example, we don't need these. And what I do want to do, so that this other synth has got a bit more room to breathe, is where we have the synth playing here. We have like a nice change in the motion there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round this out with reverb. Right, we need something on the top of this as well. So I think it's actually going to be this. Unfortunately, I had to party pretty hard last night, uh, so I, I stopped making it. I've not really done anything to it since yesterday, apart from uh, just a bit of processing to get the drums under control because they were they were going fucking ballistic. They were peaking by like nine, making everything sound bad. I did go ahead and just clean it up slightly. So under the harmony, what we've got is this at the moment. 
It does have a little bit too much, uh, maybe a bit too much reverb actually. Yeah, it's there. Cool. Uh, so all together, we got quite a nice harmonious guy. And then the bass that we have is basically the same thing, which sounds awesome, I'm not gonna lie. What we've actually done is we've done some parallel processing on the bass. What we've done on the sub is, first of all, we have a utility that puts it in mono, and then if we actually take this off, it's, it's quite interesting to see. You can actually see the splits uh, in the harmonics here. So all I've done is I first of all put a low cut on and then a high cut to get rid of this uh, this harmonic here. So with, without, so we've just got the, the bass. Now what I've done on the top side is first of all, we don't have it in mono. And what we've actually done is we've basically done the opposite on this. So now what we have is just the top. And this means that we can then process them individually. So we've added a little bit of gain and then just a bit of reverb. And also, by the way, we've uh, sidechained this with the kick. Uh, so it's just, it's allowing us to create a bit of a, a wider sound. So all together we have this. I think it's lacking something in the top. So like a ride cymbal. We'll find it together. Cause that's what we do here at Isaac Simpson YT. I want something like a really, really high. Literally the opposite of what I wanted. Or what we could do actually is we could back to the packs where we started this lovely video. I know there's a really nice jazz. I'm just gonna go like 64 pad jazz kit. Look at all this. What more could you possibly need as a producer? Sounds like every jazz song ever. Just layer that in with this. So it oh, sounds like in the context of the song. All right, let's get some vocals in there as well. I want, I just want some like just nice liquid vocals. You and I, you and I. In my heart. Cool. I mean. That is literally more than we could have ever wanted. I got this new vocal rack that I found in a video the other day, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how it sounds. Ooh, feel the fire. Is it us? Is oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna duplicate this, and then I'm gonna put it down a few semitones. So this one's gonna go down minus five. Ooh, feel the fire. Just try not dropping it down to 12. So now what we're going to do is what we usually do, which is make this right. So we got the main vocals here. Is it us? And we're actually going to do the same to this one. But we're not going to do it as extreme. I think the vocals are a, a little bit loud. I'm gonna, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna automate a utility. Some of the vocals here are sitting really nicely, like this, for example. That's sitting really nicely, but these are just a bit harsh. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna show the automation on here and drop it by a tiny, tiny amount that we probably won't even notice that much, but we'll know. So that there needs to be up slightly. Is it us? Is love? But then that needs to be dropped a bit more. There's some serious fine tuning. Uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna put together a quick intro this is going to be a real sort of slap together guy. Let's get the drums in there as well. But we don't want like the fills, really. We do want some drums, but 
we don't want them to have too much weight. Duplicate this and then delete all those and then put these guys down one and then we're going to have these as intro kick and then we're just going to put a low pass. Oh, I've already got one here. Nice. <laughs> All right, so then what we're going to do is we're just going to move this across like that. And we're going to copy these and maybe bring in the vocals, maybe like these. And we're just going to have it on the first and then whatever that is. Maybe we don't want that at all. Maybe what we actually want is this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. Does that work? We're going to low pass all of this and have it come up with a load of reverb as well. Just so that it's got like a bit more of a drop effect. Uh, so how we do that is we're just going to go and grab a low pass filter. So that's basically what it's gonna sound like. like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this kick. I'm just gonna do one of these. So it's sounding, it's starting to sound a bit more like a drop, but we need some just like rises and sweeps and stuff in there. Right, see how that's sounding. Right, then the final thing that we're going to do is we're just going to automate a utility on the master, which just basically gives us a bigger drop. So it's here, so it's basically the build up, and then we're going to drop it down by four, something like that. Cool. So obviously we've been on a journey together. This is not really what I had in mind when I sat down for the kind of with the blank template, but I'm pretty happy with where it's ended up. So what I'm going to do is just play the song from start to finish, and then we can get on with 2022. from there we would kind of go into the next breakdown and rebuild and so on and so forth obviously this is really just sketching out an idea more than anything else that so i probably would rework the structure just to sort of make it make a little bit more sense as it goes through kind of going from vocals into no vocals is a bit weird i probably have some like ad libs and stuff and maybe a couple of hoots and ah's going so that there's a bit more consistency throughout but you know for sort of two hours work i'm i'm pretty happy with where it is yeah, obviously in, in the last uh, couple of weeks, well really over the last sort of 10 days, I've seen quite a lot of new uh, subscribers join. There's been a lot of comments and stuff and, and it really is quite humbling actually. So I, I really do appreciate everyone who uh, has subscribed and asked for suggestions and videos and that sort of thing. Um, you know, you are the reason that this is gonna be the greatest YouTube channel to ever exist. Obviously there's quite a few people who watch the videos and don't subscribe. So if you have found this video useful, entertaining, or you know, you like cringe humor, then do hit subscribe and make sure that you are along for the ride. 
yeah yeah there'll be loads more of these videos coming soon i have a real blast making these and i think this sort of like blank template idea works really well just because you know if this song for example i thought that i was going to stop making it and you know just scrap it but then i thought well a lot of people will, would would have probably done that if they didn't really like it that much but uh, you know it's all part of the creative process you know sometimes you love your work and then you listen to it again you're like wow this is just a load of shit so I, I wanted to you know get it to a place where it could be pushed into a finished song as always any comments leave them down below and yeah have a, a great day oh one thing by the way that i did get for christmas uh was this so i no longer need to use you know like a remote or something like that so now what i can do is <laughs>